All right, guys, so I decided to rainbow Super Baby 2 here. Now, my line of thinking is for a couple of different reasons here. One, the giant category team is one of the weakest category teams in the game, so I felt like, you know, rainbowing this uh, Super Baby, I think, would make that team stronger for me, right? Also, this character is the Super Baby 2 and then the giant golden gray ape, you know, in parentheses. I think... It's very possible, and I would love... I would actually be very excited for this. Uh, we could get a Super Baby 2 uh, Dokkan boss event, and he could be a transforming card uh, a la either the Goku, Frieza, and Super Buu we know that transform every turn, or he could be kind of like, you know, Ultra Instinct Goku or LR Vegito and Gogeta, where he could just be a, a different transformation mechanic type character like that where maybe he's a Super Baby 2 who transforms into the giant golden gray ape. I think in both of those scenarios, this baby right here would be a very uh, strong asset to whatever team that other baby would be on. This guy would be a phenomenal linking partner, I'm sure. So that's one reason I decided to go ahead and rainbow this guy as well. I feel as though he could very much possibly help uh, any future, you know, baby-led Dokkan Fest team or something like that. So, for now, I guess let's just go ahead and test this guy out. See, his only category is the giant category team. But, really, we might test him out on the villain team, which I think is going to be a much, much better team for him. Because that giant category team, whew, it's rough. It is pretty rough. Although, this baby, he's really not that bad. Alright, guys. So, first of all... That first part was recorded uh, quite a few months ago. As you guys can see from that first initial part, uh, there was no enhanced transformation category yet in Dokkan. SCR Super Buu was not released. You know, now Super Baby 2 does officially have a good category, the enhanced transformation category, right? So that's what we're going to use it on, use him on. I know so often, I've rainbowed so many units, and then like I kind of report record the one part. Usually it's for units like this Super Baby, where I'm kind of hoping they might get like a new category or something, so I can better show them off, right? I did it with Tech Super Saiyan Vegeta, I did it with this Super Baby. I gotta be careful though, because I know if I don't like talk about it, like people will get confused, like what? Like, <laughs> what is this foolishness he's spouting about? Used him baby on like the villain team where he's only on the giant category like so uh, yo uh, forgive me <laughs> but anyway all right so we're hopping into the enhanced transformation category team now the only thing that is a bit of a negative about super baby as of right now is that dude he has that massive 25 percent attack link saiyan war that we're not able to activate on the enhanced transformation team uh, there is just no Saiyan Roar characters uh, that we could utilize on this team. Now, with Super Buu, SCR Super Buu as leader, uh, you know, Super Buu does give a buff to extreme SCR types, right? So we could conceivably toss uh, the Great Ape Raditz uh, onto uh, the team, right? Now, the Great Ape Raditz, of course, would have Saiyan Roar. The problem is kind of twofold there, and that Great Ape Raditz kind of sucks. So, like, he's, like, really not a great unit to bring on the team just for that attack link. And uh, Raditz does not have, like, Thirst for Conquest anyway, which is another big attack link uh, Baby has. It's only 15%, but, like, you definitely are much more likely... You're going to use, like, a unit with Thirst for Conquest on a rotation with Baby rather than go for, like, that Great Ape Raditz, which is awful. Uh, okay, so this worked out very, very well. Uh, this is actually exactly what I wanted right here. Uh, we got some key from the map, which is very, very helpful, because, unfortunately, Baby has horrible key links. Man, he, he's got... What does he have? Uh, GT and Hatred of Saiyans. Is that it? That's all he has for key links. Yeah. Uh, I, I really do think uh, they would do well by introducing a Dokkan Fest exclusive, like, you know, transforming Baby card or something like that. I, I think most people would agree that would be a really cool idea for a, a Dokkan event. Uh, could be baby category, you know, could make a lot of those, you know, old pan, trunks, Goku cards uh, quite usable. Uh, getting the key off the map will definitely help us out for uh, baby getting damage in here. Now, let's see what he's... Okay, so 938,000. That's with Fierce Battle active as well as Thirst for Conquest to 15% attack links. Um, now, we are going to get him on a rotation with Physical Kid Buu at some point, uh, who, of course, is going to be giving, you know, go, uh, a massive... 50% attack buff, uh, so Baby will easily 
be able to clear a 1 million attack set at that point. Now, for our secondary rotation here, uh, what I was thinking of doing was I was going to do the Transforming Goku uh, along with Gogeta. They would work very well because, um, you know, Go Transforming Goku goes from Prepare for Battle as a Super Saiyan 1 and 2 to Over in a Flash as a Super Saiyan 3, right? But it's not really too big of a deal uh, because Gogeta has both Prepare for Battle and Over in a Flash. So he is actually one of the best linking partners you can have for Transforming Goku. Plus... Uh, I believe, you know, once both of them transform, they're both going to have stuff like Warrior Gods, right? So they're going to be uh, very, very powerful next to each other. But here's the thing. You know, I, I was thinking this Gohan event would be a good one to hop into. But, like, we're just going to one-turn every single rotation here very, very clearly. Uh, so I may actually have to go ahead and hop back into another event, you know, just really to show off Super Baby 2 with Kid Buu on rotation. Well, I don't know. Maybe... Uh, uh, Okay, tell you what, I'm actually going to miss Super Attacks with uh, Frieza and Goku right here. Just to get, just to squeeze out that one extra turn. Because I do want Kid Buu on rotation with Baby and with this Transforming Frieza. So we can get him over that 1 million attack stat, right? Now this ba- Here's the thing about this Super Baby 2, right? Uh, he may not be like a dead unit or like completely terrible, right? Because if they go ahead and bring out a new Dokkan Fest baby, right? Let's say they go ahead and do that. Let's say, you know, it's a Super Baby 2, and that's just his name, and then he transforms into the Great Ape. Like, like he transforms into the Great Ape, but it's like, you know, this type of transformation mechanic right here, where, like, boom, then we would be able to use Great Ape Baby just like this, rather than the actual giant transformation. If that was the case, we would be able to use that new Super Baby 2 I'm suggesting alongside this guy and they probably would have basically the entire same link set so that would be a smart way for them to utilize you know the only real super baby 2 in dokkan right and make him a very powerful unit make him a dokkan fest give him a dokkan fest event give us you know more gt cards because really they're definitely uh most definitely needs to be more gt cards uh plus there's there's like a lot of gt units that they still have not awakened like, very mysteriously, like the physical Super Saiyan 2 Goku, you know, they definitely could go ahead and give him an awakening, uh, you know, some different stuff with the Super Baby 2 Dokkan Fest, as well as giving SCR Super Saiyan 4 Goku a new category that, he, you know, he could be pretty useful on a baby category like that. So I do definitely want to see them uh, do that. Give us a, a Dokkan Fest Super Baby 2 category. Uh, I would like to see that in 2019. Uh, I, you know, let, let's be real, you know, maybe like a Super Saiyan 4 Bardock or a Super Saiyan 4 Broly would be pretty sick as well. You know, I'm just saying, you know, something like that would be pretty cool. You know, that's, that's all, that's all. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does Frieza lose Thirst for Conquest in his third form? No, he doesn't. Okay. He still has Thirst for Conquest in his third form transformation. Yes, he does. Okay. For a second, I was like, wait a minute. Don't, do not tell me this man actually loses stuff. Um, okay, so... Uh, we have Physical Kid Buu's passive active. Yes, we do. Uh, I could tell by uh, phys uh, Kid Buu's key. Because I didn't. I wanted to heal on that last turn, but we're good. Uh, you could always tell if Kid Buu has his passive active that way. So let's do this. I'm going to put Frieza first. There's no way Frieza one-shots this Gohan. Uh, and then hopefully, you know, maybe if Gohan decides to super attack Frieza, that could activate Big Bad Bosses for us. Because obviously, you know, so ooh, 2 million. Uh-oh. Oh, please, no. Oh, that's a big shot, though. Uh, he did not super. Okay, okay. Because ba Super Baby 2 obviously also has big, bad bosses. 1.1 million. Not bad. Of course, there's not there's not a good option for Saiyan Roar on the Enhanced Transformation team. Like, again, you could put Great Ape Raditz on the team, but he sucks. Like, you don't, you don't want to do that. It's not worth it just for the 25% the of tackling. So... Right around there is probably where he's going to get to. Oh, now we have Big Bad Bosses active after Baby <laughs> goes to attack. Oh, Boo! Boo's actually going to finish this off right here. Because, yeah, he does extra damage against uh, this event. So, there we go. Goodbye, Gohan. <laughs> so, there we go. That That is done. That's uh, I guess that's how we do it right there. The Enhanced Transformation team is quickly becoming one of the better teams, I think. One of the most versatile uh, you know, Super Boo as a leader, you know, he's kind of iffy. He's suspect, no doubt about that. But, like, all of the transformation units being added to this category really makes it powerful. Like, 
you know, we got Blue Gogeta, Broly, you know, UI Goku, Evolution Blue Vegeta. We have the Int Goku Black. Like, just all the transformation units are on here. So, they're, like, you could build the team in so many different ways. Plus, you have Physical Kid Boo, who... I mean, is he the best support type unit in the game? I I would almost lean towards yes, man, because it's it's pretty consistently that you are able to get that 50% attack buff, in my opinion, on a lot of the teams that he's able to be used on. I guess that's the thing, though, like, Turles is just so consistent, right? Because there's no restriction, any ally, three key, 40% attack, boom, you're good to go. Whereas Kibu, you know, does lose 20% attack and 20% defense and two key given uh, if you fall below 80%. So that can be a bit annoying. Um, all right, so let's take a look at this uh, Super Baby 2 card right here. Again, I, I really, they got to give Baby a lot more love because, you know, many people will agree that Baby was, you know, one of the best things about Dragon Ball GT. Uh, I, I actually really like the concept of the Shenrons as well. Like, I, I wouldn't be opposed if for Dragon Ball Super they would bring back some of these concepts. Like, you know, Baby as uh, one of the Tuffles, right, coming back, I would be totally okay with that. Uh, you know, if they would bring back the, the concept of, like, they overuse the Dragon Balls, like, and then evil's created. Like, that's cool. Like, I, I would love to see them redo that in Dragon Ball Super. Considering all the other stuff they've brought back, you know, Vegito, Broly, you know, Frieza, it's not really out of the realm of possibility either, I don't think, so... Uh, this guy right here, this is Rampaging Vengeance, Super Baby 2, Giant Ape. See, that's the key right there. And that's why I do think, you know, uh, this guy would work really well with just a Super Baby 2 card. His leader skill is Int Type Attack, 33% per Int Key Sphere Obtained. So he is a nuking leader. Uh, unfortunately, he is. there's a better option because this guy could transform into Great Ape sometimes, which would interfere with your nuking. Uh, the Int Beerus uh, has the exact same leader skill and will work better. For your nuking needs. Uh, this Super Baby 2, his super attack is the Revenge Death Ball, which does supreme damage and lowers attack. Uh, lowers attack in this day and age is very helpful, so that's nice. His passive skill, Blutz Waves of Hatred, is 100% attack when HP is 30% or above. That's a very easy threshold to be above, so that's not really a big deal at all. Uh, and then he may turn into the Giant Ape. It says Giant Ape all over the place, but excuse me, ahem, it's the Golden Gray Ape. Like, hello, can we at least put some respect on the Golden Ape? Hello? But yeah, it, he has the possibility to change into the Ape. Uh, useful for difficult modes, of, of course. Now, his links, Thirst for Conquest, Metamorphosis, Saiyan Roar, GT, Hatred of Saiyans, Big Bad Bosses, and Fierce Battle. His links would be fine if they only had him with Shocking Speed. That's what hurts. This man badly needs Shocking Speed. Like, uh, they could get rid of that Hatred of Saiyans link, which sucks. It's so pointless. Just give him Shocking Speed. Boom, we're good. Metamorphosis is not bad, but again, just get rid of that shit. Boom, Shocking Speed, we're good. Uh, if they give this guy a Dokkan Fest, they gotta give him Shocking Speed. You have to. Have to, have to, have to, have to. You can't be releasing big time units like this anymore and not give them, like, you know, uh, one of the three big key links over in a flash prepare for battle or shocking speed. You just have to give them one of those three. So hopefully a Dokkan Fest baby, which I do think is in the cards, uh, would have that, right? Uh, now, his 12p multiplier is 135%, which is, that's a bit iffy right there. You know, I would like to see it at 140%. Uh, and then he is on two category teams now. Uh, he is, of course, on the giant team. Uh, where he's probably one of the better options for the team. Uh, I would say the AGL Metal Cooler is the best unit on the team. Lord Slug is probably two. And then, you know, eh, Tora probably. And then maybe Tapion. <laughs> but then, like, Baby is, like, fifth or sixth or something like that. So, I don't know. He, he's somewhere in there. Uh, and then we also have the Enhanced Transformation team. Uh, this, without a doubt, will be his best team. Uh, the Giant team is just really, really wonky, right? Uh, but, you know, over here on the Enhanced Transformation team, you can actually get him with good, solid linking partners. Uh, you've got Kid Buu over there. And you have a lot of really powerful units you could use over there. And uh, especially if you go with a full villain variant of the team, you know, there's a lot of different support type units you could use as well. So there we go, guys. There is the full sort of details uh, for this Super Baby 2. Again, if they gave us a Dokkan Fest for this guy, I think it would be uh, very much appreciated. A lot of people would be down with that. Maybe we could see it as part of the four-year anniversary stuff. Who knows? Uh, Baby himself is definitely not big enough, but, like, I don't know. Like, I, I would most definitely guess we're getting some sort of Super Saiyan 4-themed cards, which I'm not even against, right? That would be really cool. 
So, alright guys, we'll go ahead and finish up here for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.